we deal with the Pythagoras theorem in exercise 1.5. We have studied about the Pythagoras theorem in the previous 10 minutes. For example, if there is a right angle triangle ABC, where B is right angle, it's 90 degrees. Then, the side opposite to 90 degrees is called the hypotenuse. And hypotenuse is also the longest side of the right angle triangle. Suppose if we say that AB is the first side, side 1, and BC is the second side, side 2, then the Pythagoras theorem says that hypotenuse square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square. In other words, in this particular triangle, we can say that AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Always remember that hypotenuse square will be on the left hand side and the other two sides, the square of the other two sides, would be on the right hand side. So this is the Pythagoras theorem. Then we have the converse of the above theorem. The converse says that if the side 3 square is equal to side 1 square plus side 2 square, where side 3 is the longest side, so the longest side is on one side and the other two sides are on the other side. And if this is true, then the given triangle is a right angle triangle. Suppose if we have been told that there is a right angle triangle, or just um, there is a triangle whose one side is 13, the other side is 5 and 12, respectively. 13, 5 and 12. Then we need to determine is this a right angle triangle or not. So what we need to do is the longest side is 13, so we will write 13 square is equal to 169. While side 1 square plus side 2 square, so 5 square plus 12 square is equal to 25 plus 144, which is also 169. So we can state that. 13 square is equal to 5 square plus 12 square. So if this is true, this triangle is a right angle triangle. If this is not true, then the triangle is not a right angle triangle and this is what the converse of Pythagoras theorem says. Then we use Pythagoras theorems in squares because all the angles of squares are right angles. So, if I draw the diagonal, we can say in right angle triangle ADC, AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. So, we use Pythagoras theorem in squares also, even in rectangles. So, if I join this, if I join P e and R, and uh, this angle S is a right angle because it's an angle of a rectangle. So in this case, we can say that PR square, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to PS square plus SR square. And in the same way, in a rhombus, in a rhombus, the diagonals meet each other at right angles. So in rhombus, we can say that WX square, which is this. This is the hypotenuse of this particular right angle triangle, WOX. This is equal to WO square plus OX square. So in this way we can apply Pythagoras theorem in squares, rectangles and rhombus also. And not necessarily only in right angle triangles. Of course we do it in right angle triangles but in other quadrilaterals also. Then we use Pythagoras theorem in the letter problem. Suppose this is the ladder, let's say AB is the ladder, where B is the foot of the ladder and A is the top of the ladder. And suppose this is a wall, AC is a wall, and when BC is the ground or the floor, then in this triangle also, AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. So we use Pythagoras theorem in ladder problems also. Then, it's important that you learn the Pythagorean triplets. Pythagorean triplets are three numbers, for example, 3, 4, and 5. So this biggest number 5 is the hypotenuse, 
while 3 and 4 are the other two sides. So suppose if you know this is a Pythagorean triplet 3, 4, 5 and if suppose this is the question. The hypotenuse is 5, one side is 4, find the other side. So just by knowing the triplets, you know the answer, that the answer is 3. So you can even confirm your answers if you already know the Pythagorean triplets. So 3, 4, 5 is the first Pythagorean triplet. Then 5, 12, 12 and 14, 7, 24 and 25, 9, 40 and 41, 11, 16 and 61, 8, 15 and 17. Just remember some of these, or all of these, there are even more. And it would help you in the exam. And similarly, we can make their families. For example, if 3, 4, and 5 are Pythagorean triplets, then if you double all of them, you get 6, 8, and 10. So 6, 8, and 10 is also a Pythagorean triplet. For example, if you have been given a triangle where one side is 10, other side is 8, and the third side is 6, and if you have been told Determine whether it's a right angle triangle. You can say it is a right angle triangle because 10 squared on it is equal to 8 square 64 plus 6 square 36. So this is a right angle triangle. Or alternately, if two sides are given, you can find the third side just by knowing the triplets. So you know 6, 8, and 10 are triplets. The third would be 10. Similarly, you can triple the first line and the answer would be 3, 3, 3, 3 9. 4 3 is 12, 5 3 is 15. So 9, 12, and 15 are also Pythagorean triplets, and so on. Similarly, we can make the families of the other triplets also. For example, the double of 5 is 10, double of 12 is 24, and the double of 13 is 26. So this is also a Pythagorean triplet. Similarly, 7, 24, and 25. So the families are 14 and uh, 48. And 50. Just learn the first lines of these triplets. They are sufficient. And they will be the many, many problems. Then, this exercise 1.5 also deals with similarity in right angle triangles. Now, suppose there is a right angle triangle ABC where this angle B is a right angle. And suppose if we draw and altitude BD on hypotenuse AC. So in right triangle ABC, if we draw BD perpendicular to hypotenuse AC, then we have three right angle triangles. Three. For example, the first one ABC, where angle B is a right angle. Second, ADB where D is a right angle triplet. And third, B, D, C, where D is a right angle So we have three right angle triangles. Suppose if I mark angle A as X degrees, if I mark this angle A, B, D as 4 degrees, if I mark B, B, C as again X degree, and if I mark the last angle C as 4 degree, then you can see that in all the three triangles, there is an X degree, there is an O degree, and there is a right angle. In all the three triangles. Therefore, by the AAA test, all the three triangles are similar to each other. Now let us write this down. For example, triangle, let's take the big triangle ABC. Then we can say is similar to triangle. Now look at this problem. In the big triangle ABC, angle A was x degree, angle B was 90 degrees, and angle C was 4 degrees. So if I want to name this triangle ABD, I need to first write the x degree of ABD, which is A. Then the 90 degree of triangle ABD, which is angle D, and then the third angle O degree, which is angle B. So I can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB in the very same manner. It is also similar to, now let's take this triangle. 
So in this triangle again we need to write like degrees first, 90 degrees and then the OD right? So B, B, C. So we can write it over here. It's equal to B, B, C. So triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle A, D, B is similar to triangle B, D, C. So all the three triangles are similar to each other by A, 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 S. So this is called the similarity in right angle triangles. And because of this particular property of similarity in right angle triangles, we have this formula which is called the geometric mean property. According to the geometric mean property, this BD square is equal to AD into DC. So we have this formula, remember this BD square, which is the height on the hypotenuse is equal to AD into BC, where D is the point on the hypotenuse. Remember, D is not the midpoint. It may or may not be the midpoint. So, D is just a point which is uh, in which your BD is perpendicular to BC. So, according to the mean property, BD square is equal to AD into BC. Then, we have some more formula. So, according to the similarities of writing a triangle, we can state that AB square is equal to AD into AC. AB square is equal to AD into AC. You can see over here all the formulas start with the letter A. Similarly, we can start with the letter C. CB square is equal to CD into CA. CB square or BC square is equal to CD into CA. So these are the three formulae that we get from similarities of right angle triangle. In this particular geometric mean property, you can also say that all the three things they start from the letter D. For example, you can say that DB square is equal to DA into BC. BD square and BD square are one the same. So we need to learn the similarities of right angle triangle and also the Pythagorean tri triplets and Pythagorean theorem and its converse in order to learn exercise 1.5. Thank you.